Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. Uh, today was a pretty good day. You may notice that first and foremost, my hair is shorter. That means I got a haircut. That means it is time for a very loungeful, is loungeful a word? Loungeful haircut haiku. Lounging is great, but lounging during a haircut. Oops, cut your ears off. But that's not all we're going to be talking about today. I have a few short stories, I guess, of interesting things that happened today. And uh, normally there's a central theme to a vlog, and uh, we might uh, push a particular topic in a vlog, but there will be other stuff sprinkled in. This is just a lot of sprinkles, so many sprinkles on the plate that it's just a serving of sprinkles. So I got a haircut today, which feels amazing. It's been, a, it's been a while since I had my last one, and I've needed one for a while. I've mentioned it before, but once the hair gets on my ears, I start losing my mind. Some people are into that, and some people have, you know, long hair and they grow it out. I don't know how you do it, because it just bothers me to the point where I, I lose my mind. Um, today, because I went over to my, my parents' house to, uh, to get my hair cut, I was riding with my dad, well, both my parents, we were in the car, and all of a sudden, my dad's driving, he goes, All about that bass, bump a dump a dump, all about that bass, bump a dump a dump, and the treble, all about the bass, bump a dump. And like, I, I'm in the passenger seat, and I just kind of go, What? <laughs> all about the bass, bump a dump, bump a dump, and the treble, bump. And I'm like, uh, Where did you hear that song? And, because, uh, I mean, my parents, um, Parents don't really. My parents will listen to the radio, but they listen to like country music or you know classic rock. Uh, well, my dad listens to classic rock, so I was like, "How on earth did you hear this song?" And uh, he said, "Oh, they were they're playing it all the time on the ship." And I was like, "Oh, okay." So they just got back from the cruise, and uh, apparently they were exposed to all about that bass, which is a fantastic song, by the way. It has a really really great message, which is wonderful. Um, but he didn't really understand. He didn't know the message. He also had a hard time understanding the words He said it took him a long time to figure out that they were saying bass he, he was just trying to sit there and listen to it and he could not understand what they were saying But uh, he didn't really have the, the the tune of the song down So I guess he forgot that he just remembered that the lyrics were all about the bass all about the bass bu bu bu. This is my funny story. Other thing that happened uh, I mentioned a few weeks ago that we were helping uh, f uh, Austin's uh, mom with her her next book. She had produced a, uh, a Illustrated children's book some time ago. She was working on a novel. This is actually her second novel and um, We went over there uh, tonight in order to um, Work on the, the formatting. I am no by no means a word processing expert And I'm very rusty on my skills, but I was able to, to work with her through it a little bit But uh, there was a fun thing that happened and I wish I would have filmed it But I'm gonna tell you the story anyway because it's amazing and uh, you also kicked me for not being able to film it, but a bird got in the house. A bird got into their house, like whenever, um, whenever Austin's dad came through the door and uh, we couldn't get rid of the bird. The bird was flying around everywhere and they have really high ceilings. So they had to go get like pool equipment to try and like scare the bird. And we're trying not to hurt the bird because it's just a tiny little sparrow. And the, the bird is flying all over the place and um, their house is very open. So we all kind of got in positions where we could block the bird, like, you know, scare the bird from going into a particular spot. So Mal was standing at the top of the stairs. The bird is flying around trying to figure out what to do. The bird flies up over Mal, and I never saw it. All this, I, I just heard Mal go, the bird pooped on me. And I'm like, the bird pooped on you? And she had covered her face when she said that, and whenever she looked up, she had bird poop. It looked like she had been crying bird poop. It had landed right where her tear duct was and was running down her face. It was completely disgusting, but it was hilarious. Uh, she said she d it didn't get in her eye, but it was so freaking funny. And they felt, they felt bad, and, and we were like, no, it's no problem. It's going to be an interesting story to tell you guys and, uh, and other people, I'm sure. But I just wish we would have filmed it. Oh, my God, it was hilarious. Um, on that anecdote, and I may have talked about this in the Q&A once or twice before, but uh, my dad has terrible luck all the time. It doesn't matter what it is. He, it's awful luck. And he got pooped on. A bird pooped on his head. Two different birds on the same day. 
He was walking downtown in Charleston. This is some time ago, but he was walking downtown in Charleston, South Carolina, and a bird pooped on his head. And he realized the poop, and he was like, what on earth, a bird? And he had to clean it all up, and he's like, doggone it. And then it was like 30, 20 or 30 minutes later, a different bird pooped on his head. So there's lots of birds pooping on people um, in our family, apparently. I haven't been hit, but as soon as it, as soon as it happens, I'll let you know. So that was, that was my fun little sprinkles for today. It's little tidbits of information that, um, you know, not everything gets filmed, but it's fun to relay. So I wanted to relay all the information to you. Uh, why don't you take today to, if you have a bird pooping on your story, oh my god, I want to hear it, please list it below. But uh, any other fun little sprinkles, little tidbits of information that don't take a lot of time to explain, but are fun to read, and uh, will make the other commenters laugh or, or whatever. That's what I want you to post. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, I want to talk about Smash Brothers soon, so we're probably going to talk about, because um, we've been playing Smash Brothers 3DS, uh, I want to talk about that maybe tomorrow. And there's some other stuff coming up as well. I just found out today that my grandmother is going to be in town in a few days. I don't get told these things, so that's happening in a few days. So uh, I guess we'll be seeing her. Um, yeah, lots of stuff going on. And I'm also um, trying to help out with this novel right now, so I'm, I'm busy. But I'm getting there. I'll get caught up. Thank you so much for watching and understanding. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? It's because they never melted. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, I won't do it again. <coughs> Why are you coughing? <laughs> it's really salty. That's not. It's not salty when I stuck my finger in it, and the stuff in the jar is not salty. And this is salty. You are such a terrible. Oh, you peed on the floor. That's uh, that's gonna be an issue. Oh, you you seem really embarrassed about that.